Welcome back, Rednecks. Today, we're gonna be trying to get this door open. We've already undid the hinge. We tried moving it around. I had uh, Tyler pushing on the button while I was pulling on it. We've tried kicking on this thing. It will not open. And uh, the guy before me clearly couldn't open it before. He had the seat all pulled up. So what we're gonna do, we got a hole saw right here. We're gonna take, I already put a little mark right there on the door, and we're gonna, we're gonna try and hole saw that thing and then see if we can't get to the linkage, figure out what's wrong. And I already got another door for this thing. It's out in the turtle. We'll get it in once we get this thing off. Hopefully it doesn't give us too much trouble. Cross my fingers, but here we go. Good. Send it. Well, Rednecks, it didn't take long to figure out what the problem was. Um, when I press this button right here, it's moving a lever. Let's see, I gotta flip my camera. It's moving this lever right here. Problem is, this lever isn't retracting back up. So when I push it down, it stays down. And what happened is, with that down and the door locked, you can't open this thing. It needs to come back up and then you unlock the door and it works fine. So we'll get this door, um, I'll flip that up, we'll unlock the door and I'll show you. It opens right up and it's kind of annoying, but we'll get the other door put on here in a little bit. Go ahead and unlock it. Well, Rednecks, I'm here in the car. I got the uh, door all pulled apart as far as I got to the electrical on the inside here. And if you take a look, we're going to run into some issues. Um, these plugins, I'm going to get my uh, thing out of the way, but if you look at these plugins down there, they are slotted. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. You got little fingers. If you come over here and look at the other door I got, they are round. So. This door is in a lot better shape than that one right there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to try and pull everything apart and see if I can't change out the wiring inside this door, so. I guess that's the difference between, uh, I guess this is an 86, 87, and that would be an 88 to uh, 91, I believe, so. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that one apart, see what the wiring looks like, if I can get rid of, um, or at least change out all the wiring in it easy enough. We'll uh, pull all the wiring out of this, put it in that one. <laughs> Otherwise, our alternative is to plug that hole back up. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Next, I have both the uh, doors torn apart with uh, both the harnesses out. And if you take a look, this is the 86-87 harness, and this is the 88 to, I believe, 91 harness. And everything is the same, except for the uh, two window power uh, connectors for the uh, power window. This one has a shorter connection, or shorter wires on it than this one. And the reason for that it's for some reason, so this is the uh, newer one, this is the 88 to 91. The uh, motor's on an angle like this, whereas the motor and the 86, 87, it's for some reason vertical. So they chose to change it from vertical to kind of on a 45. And the only other difference there would be is in the uh, door panels. And as you can see, both them plugins are the exact same. So. We should be able to put our uh, door panel on the newer door with our old harness. I guess the only thing that's left to uh, ask is we'll add bolts onto the car. So I'm not sure if the hinges are the same. I'm not sure if all that's the same. 
But as of right now, it looks like I'm gonna be able to put my wiring on, my door panel on, and yeah, we'll answer the question here in a little bit. Will it bolt on the car? Well, Rednecks, I got it all back together. As you've seen, I forgot the uh, plug-in down there. It's kind of for the uh, interior lights. Forgot to put that in, so I got to take it all back apart, and I kind of want to show you something. The reason these things are kind of hard and a pain in the butt, because all they are is a thin piece of cardboard. So the do whole door panel is just a piece of cardboard with a, uh, well, in the case of that one, that's got leather on the outside, and then mine have kind of a, a material, I guess. Just all on the outside of it, so kind of weak, kind of flimsy, really weird design. I like to uh, say that they look good, but they suck to take apart, put back together. The newer plastic ones, so much easier to work on. But I'm kind of scared of all this next point. We're going to see if that door will fit back on this car. Well, there we go, Rednecks. We got the door on. Obviously, we have to adjust uh, the hinges over here, but it fits. It actually closed and latched. And I tell you what, it looks a little bit better than the white door. It's not completely there yet. We got, uh, I already have plans on painting this car, so I don't really care. The one thing that I do care about is the trim on the bottom. I don't know where I'm going to get that. And this door right here is missing it completely. So I'm going to see if all the power options work on it. We're going to get this thing adjusted, and I'll let you know how it uh, turns out. Well, there we go, Rednecks. We got the uh, back door put in, and as you can see, the window did work. Oh my gosh, it's backwards. Got all the interior put back in. As you can see, I got that whole pillar put back in, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work.